Hey there guys, it's your girl Tanisha and welcome back to my channel Tanisha Double Yo. Like always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will love you guys forever. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, I will be going over my top shows on Netflix. And there is no particular order to how these will be listed. And I know there are like thousands of shows on Netflix. And as much as I would love to watch TV all day, I don't have time to be watching TV all day. So this is what I've watched so far on Netflix that I really enjoyed. Some of them are already new. Some of them are like new experiences. And I will give you my opinion on them and tell you what I love about them. So stay tuned. Okay, so show number one is Grey's Anatomy. So honestly, I see a lot of mixed comments on the web when it comes to Grey's Anatomy, but your girl loves this show. I feel like this is one of my top favorite shows ever. Like, it's just so well done. The show is about medical students. It starts off with medical interns, to be exact, and it shows you the struggles of them trying to become surgeons like they're picking their their designation and what type of surgeon they want to be and like it's there's a lot of like cool stories and like weird diseases and stuff and it's based off of like real life diseases obviously and like it's just cool to see the outcome like i thought i would be like turned off by it because my stomach is very weak when it comes to seeing blood and stuff and even though you do see a lot of that on the show it doesn't bother me and that's really surprising so thumbs up for that but like Yo, Shonda Rhimes, who is the creator of Grey's Anatomy, she has done this show justice. Like, these are what this is one of the few shows I can just sit there and watch without using my phone because I have a really hard time of just watching shows without looking at my phone. And this show, I will be sitting here like this, paying attention to every word that comes out of their damn mouth. So, that's one of my top shows. Boom. And right now, there's 17 seasons, so. If they got 17 seasons, they definitely do something right. I don't know about y'all, but that's good. So the next show is Stranger Things. And Stranger Things is actually a Netflix original. And honestly, I had no prior knowledge to this show. Like I kept seeing it everywhere and I was like, why is everybody talking about this show? So I did watch it out of curiosity because everybody was talking about it. And I couldn't figure out what it was about based off of like watching previews and stuff. But like, it's one of those shows that's like so fresh and so revamped. It's like, it's totally different. And that's what I love about it. It's just like not your typical lovey-dovey teen drama BS like Riverdale. Not to anything that's wrong with Riverdale. Like I watched Riverdale myself, but like I stopped watching it because I was just like, eh. And Stranger Things is nothing, there's nothing eh about it. Like that show will have you at the edge of your damn seat. like heck is happening and it's just it's just bomb the kids are bomb everybody's bomb in the show watch stranger things i can't wait for the next season like that needs to hurry up chop chop i feel like ruana messed it up for us now we can't get our next season so the next show is also a netflix original and that is 13 reasons why so i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't know nothing about this show i didn't know what it was about nothing and I just started watching because I was bored, like at work. I started watching everything when I'm at work because I'm bored. And I'm just watching it and I was like, okay, try to get into it. And then like the show just takes you and just sucks you in and it's over for you. It's period, point blank, period over for you. Because let me tell you, this show, I will say that there is a warning pre the show, like, there are a lot of concerns. This show caused a lot of controversy in terms of what it should be rated and stuff because it does tackle a lot of serious subjects, mature subjects. Not only really mature per se, but like very serious subjects that should be talked about, but like isn't always talked about. And you can just look it up yourself. I'm not going to talk about it because I'm not trying to get no strikes on my channel, child, because YouTube and these words, they very sensitive on here. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say. But like, yo, the story is so well written. The characters, they, the actors, the actresses, they do this show to the justice it deserves. Like it's one of those shows, like when the new season comes on, I'm there front row center watching it because it's that good. So 
kudos to you netflix this show was a one and you selena gomez because you're a part of this kudos to you girl a one a one okay so the next show that i feel is top tier is breaking bad and honestly, like everybody else, I didn't know what this show was about, what to expect. But as I kept watching, I'm just like, how is this guy and this guy gonna work out? It didn't make any type of sense because you have a high school science teacher and the flunky and like, they're like two main characters and they'd be doing some things, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. They'd be doing some things to do some things to make some things if you catch my drift and like it's just so entertaining like it's one of the best shows i ever watched honestly i did stop watching it because i wasn't doing any type of work when i was in school because i was watching this when i was in school and i couldn't i didn't want to do any school work because the show was that good so i forced myself to stop watching the show so i would do my damn school work so that's when you know a show is good when you don't want to do nothing but watch the show so top tier show check it out is on Netflix so the next show on Netflix I feel is top tier is Greenleaf now I don't know about y'all but if you grew up in church like I did you can a thousand and one percent agree that Greenleaf hit the nail on the head that's my preacher hands like yo this show is so good like the story the acting yo it's top tier like it shows you the messiness of what happens in the church the good that happens in the church the combination and the spiritualations i just made that word up but it's all good because this show is bomb yo the fifth season is now on netflix i'm not sure if it's the final season to be honest i'm not really sure but yo it got five seasons so you tell me they're not doing well if they got five seasons top tier check it out if you haven't so this show i'm sure probably everybody and their mama has watched the show but i feel like it's one of those shows that like you cannot you cannot like and that's family guy yo family guy is one of the best shows ever like it's hilarious it's ridiculous it's just one of those things that just keeps you entertained. Like, I know some people, like, they don't like it because they find it, like, vulgar or, like, abusive or whatever. But, like, yo, it's just a show. It's a cartoon. Like, chill out. It's just good fun. It's comedy. It's nothing to take it seriously. Like, it's just one of those feel-good fun type of shows. It's kind of like anime because anime is the same. But, like, I don't know. Kind of, I don't know how to explain it. But, like, it's just bomb. Like, I remember I sat and watched, like, five seasons of Family Guy back to back to back to back because that's how entertained I was. I didn't do anything but watch Family Guy. And I don't blame myself because that show was top tier. Is it better than The Simpsons? Honestly, it's funnier than The Simpsons. But, like, Simpsons is, The Simpsons is gold. But, like, Family Guy, there's some, the funny, the funniness of it, top tier. Okay next show is this is us now i've heard a lot about this show i've seen a lot of commercials about the show but i didn't really understand what it was about i just thought it was about an overweight girl trying to lose weight because that's what i see in the commercial but like there's so much more to it than that like he shows you like how blended families work it's about a family that originally was supposed to have triplets but unfortunately one of their triplets passed away at birth so they had a set of twins and they adopted a third who had the same birthday as them and they became an adopted pair of triplets and you get to see the stories and the struggles of like how they grew up and their childhoods to their teen years their adulthood it's like it's such a good show like i didn't expect to like it so much but like this is on the same level as Grey's anatomy like i can sit and watch the show and not be distracted by anything and then like i said if i can be that much engaged into a show it's doing something well because i get distracted very easily there's not much shows i can watch without being on my phone and that is one of them so 
my little maracas or what do they call it? Castanets for clapping for This Is Us. So I'm gonna apologize to everybody on here because like, yo, I'm sorry I was so late to the party when it came to this show. Like I had seen this show when I was growing up and I just looked at it like, hmm, I ain't watching that. I ain't watching that. Like I seen it, I've browsed upon it and I didn't watch it. And that was Avatar The Last Airbender. I know, I know you're judging me right now. But it's okay because like I'm glad I watched it as an adult because I appreciate this show so much more than I would have if I watched it as a kid. Like this show is so good. Like I was just watching it. I don't even know how I started watching it. I just saw it and I was like, you know, let me just try watching it because it's on here. Why not? And yo, when I told you I got hooked and reeled in like a fish, yo, this show is bomb. It's French, it's kiss, French kiss. That's how good this show is. Like I literally watched all three seasons, the seasons in like two weeks. So, and I was working too. So that that's when you know I had time. I put in time to watch this show. I put in the time and effort to watch this show because it was that good. And honestly, I want to watch the other part, Legend of Korra, but like Netflix, you don't have it. So like, what you doing, Netflix? Get the next part. Your girl wants to watch that too. I'm gonna find a way, but damn. So the next show, this is a good one. This is a good show. And that is on my block. Watch out. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I didn't know what to think about the show. I just thought it was about like, you know, typical thug related gang bang related stuff. But like, it's not necessarily about that. Like the show is so much more, there's like there's so much depth to it. There's so much depth to it like it's such a good show there's a lot of funny moments the characters are so lovable and hilarious oh my god oh my god they're just they're, they're hilarious okay. yo if it wasn't for ruby and jamal especially jamal that that man carried the show he carried that show on his back because that like yo he was an important character he just gave me bare laughs like that show french kiss like every time the new season came on i was on there ready and i binged the entire thing because that show was so good and i know y'all will like it too like it's such a good show good culture good laughs french kiss and the ending it was satisfying even though it wasn't what i wanted it was satisfying and i'm okay with it like so good Okay, this is the last show on my top show list and it's actually a mini series and that is self-made by madam cj walker now we all know madam cj walker and let me tell you this show was based on her her life her story and let me tell you i was fully invested because it gave me drama it gave me heartache it gave me all types of like feelings that i needed in a show and i binge that too these episodes were over an hour long sometimes and your girl was here to watch it because it was so good you need to watch that if you haven't watched it already learn something no, sorry, she was the first self-made millionaire. I'm sorry. She was the first self-made millionaire. Mm, mm, mm. Period. She did that. So this brings us to the end of my video of my top Netflix shows. Honestly, all of these are still on Netflix for you to watch. They are bomb.com. And if I enjoy them, I'm sure y'all will enjoy it too. So give it a try and if y'all have some recommendations for me to watch send them my way because my list is forever growing rather than shrinking and i'm okay with that because that's how this life works i have enough shows for a lifetime to watch me on netflix so thank you for watching guys take care and i'll see you next time deuces